Hey, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm over at space.com, the very worst website when it comes to time and functionability. I'm enduring that frustration for you. So I can cover this very important story where giant comets periodically smash Earth, scientists say. Wait, don't quit your job, do a bunch of hard drugs, and have a lot of fun now? Because, uh, scientists say a lot of shit, man. They really do. And, uh, 90% of the time, none of us can verify it. So, I wouldn't worry about this too much. Unless, of course, there were a bunch of Lazarus comets waking up and then headed towards Earth to smash it. But that'd just mean that, like, CERN had gone crazy and magnetized them all, bringing them to Earth. And we had some crazy evil Lex Luthor mind that intended to do that for some crazy-ass reason. Um, but, like, even Lex Luthor would want to kill everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lex was a sociopath, but he wasn't like a nihilist sociopath, you know? Those are the people we gotta watch out for. Thor News presents Comet WTF Earth. Seriously, bro. Part. Stay cool. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. This is space. There's space all over the place. I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. I am the Indiana Jones of astronomy. And here we go. All right, it is now time for a Thor News bare bones breakdown. Saturn's moon Phoebe, shown here image, could have been a large comet that was captured by the planet's gravity. According to a statement from the Royal Astronomical Society, these large comets called centaurs could pose a risk to Earth, scientists say. Giant comets that originate in the planetary fringes of the solar system pose a greater threat of colliding with Earth than do asteroids, which originate closer to the sun, a new review paper argues. Well, can I argue with that paper? Because there's way more asteroids than there's comets, man. So just simple math would seem that that's wrong. In the last two decades, scientists have discovered hundreds of giant comets, known as centaurs, in the region near Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, according to a statement from the Royal Astronomical Society. I don't know, what does it mean? Royal these days. Yeah, so apparently the royal astronomers have come down from their royal ivory tower to tell us that hundreds of giant centaur comets could kill us all. That means comets that are half man, half horse, half space rock. Now, calm down, Johnny Crylot. No centaur poses a known intermediate threat to Earth. No centaur poses a known immediate threat to Earth. But the discovery of this massive population has led a group of astronomers to reassess the threat of these seemingly distant bodies to this planet. All right, I'm going to click on the pictures of potentially dangerous asteroid, because that seems really, like, what the hell, man? Why would you even just stick that in there? Oh, yeah, there's that one, whatever. Stupid, stupid, whatever. And how large does a comma have to be to officially be giant? Because, like they say, a comma Ison was tiny, or average. So all these comets happen to be totally giant. That's weird. This sort of like gets near the sun or gets near Earth, it's teeny tiny. But if it's out by Jupiter, it's freaking giant, man. Holy smokes. Yeah, it's funny, if it comes close to Earth, I'm surprised they don't go. Oh, it's a dwarf comet. <laughs> no centaur poses a known immediate threat to Earth. But the discovery of this massive population has led a group of royal astronomers to royally reassess the threat of these seemingly distant bodies to this planet. Whatever, man. It's a cometoid. That's what I'm gonna get my kid for next Christmas. Is um a cometoid toy. Oh, they have dwarf planets, planets, and planetoids. So now we have comets, dwarf comets, and cometoids. And Thor News will be selling a line of cometoid toys by next Christmas. I don't have a kid. I don't want a kid for at least two more years. Because YouTube don't make shit. Estimates currently suggest that one of these giant comets crosses Earth's orbit on an average only once every 40,000 to 100,000 years. Okay. So one of these giant comets crosses our orbit once every 40,000 to 100,000 years. Now I know why this story came out, right? And you know what? We only go to the moon a couple times every 40,000 to 100,000 years. Sage wants y'all to know there's a rover on the moon. It's real. She's not making that up. She says it's been there for a while. It's driving around. At which time the comet is believed to break up into dust and debris that can collide with the planet. Now if these comets do break up into dust and debris, We've had a lot of comets lately, and a lot of them seem big by my standards. And so that could be, combine that with the already weird interstellar medium cloud we're going through, and this could be causing the sun to be overreacting and our climate weather to be overreacting. Definitely a theory that I'm willing to entertain. Or whatever, man, I don't give a shit. Whatever. If you had a cup of pudding in your hand right now, I'd smash it into your face in a way that would not get me sued and everyone would find hilarious. But I'm neither here nor there. 
So let's get back to the fucking science. These collisions may be responsible for environmental upheavals in Earth's past. I love it when scientists are like, yeah, this may have happened. I'm like, yeah, it may not have. But I'm sure at one time Earth got hit by a comet. I'm sure that if I was betting 10 bucks, like, yeah, a comet hits Earth every 100,000 years, you know, you'd be right. It seems like white trash paper science. That's a white paper joke, not a white trash joke. So, you know, I don't believe any human being is trash. The centaur comets may have even killed the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Yeah, then scientists sometimes say dark matter killed the dinosaurs. They don't know, and nobody knows really, man. It's like the Big Bang. You can spend billions of dollars on it. You can march out Bill Nye and Neil Tyson Degrassi to swear to God that the Big Bang happened exactly like this. You can have the President and Congress pass orders saying that every single human being believes in the Big Bang or the RFDI chip inside your brain will explode, causing you to die in a very painful way. That doesn't mean we have 100% proof of the Big Bang exactly how it happened 14 billion years ago. It's a lot of shit we can't verify, and most of it is science shit. Centaurs are between 31 and 62 miles across and move in unstable orbits near the giant planets. Occasionally, the gravitational influence of one of these planets can send the centaur careening towards Earth. Doom, 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 ba doom, ba doom, 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 wah. Sweet. God bless everybody. is the record holder for Stellar Cool. Space underwear in your face!